Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, praise be to God for this day. I'm very pleased to welcome our graduates, their families, loved ones, educators, and coaches to commencement exercises for St. Hubert Catholic High School for Girls and to celebrate the achievements of the class of 2020. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Almighty God and Father of us all, we pray for everyone gathered today as we celebrate the young men and women who are members of the class of 2020. We pray for their parents, guardians, and families. We pray for administrators, teachers, and school staffs who have dedicated themselves to our graduates' success. We pray for all those affected by illness, especially by the coronavirus, which is affecting so many throughout the world. We pray for nurses, medical providers, and caregivers. We especially remember loved ones who have been called home to the Lord and pray that they experience comfort and peace. We ask you to bless this class of 2020 Walk with them as they continue their journey of faith and of life. Help them to use wisely and generously the gifts and talents you have given them so that they may share those gifts with others and by doing so, make this world a better place and one day come to your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. Dear graduates, it fills me with great joy to take part in today's celebration, which marks a milestone in your academic career and a passage from one stage of life to another. For nearly three centuries, Catholic education has been a vital component of our local church. Through our Catholic schools, countless children and young people have been formed as young men and women of character, as leaders poised to succeed through service to others in their local and global communities. The Catholic education you received is a gift that will bear fruit for the remainder of your lives. That gift was made possible because your families made the choice to give you a Catholic education and sacrificed to provide it. I ask that you join me in expressing sincere gratitude to them. Likewise, we thank your teachers, administrators, counselors, and coaches. They made the choice to serve in a Catholic school as their vocation and have dedicated themselves tirelessly to your academic, spiritual, athletic, and social development. As Catholic school graduates, you have a strong foundation to achieve great things. We are all proud of what you have accomplished thus far. We are also watching eagerly to witness how you will shape the future by living out a life of Christian virtue in a complex and rapidly changing world. You give all of us reason for great hope that the future will be a bright one. Today's graduation is much different than what anyone imagined at the beginning of the school year. I know that the pandemic we face has created quite a few challenges for you your families, and all those responsible for your education. Much has been asked of you 
and you have been asked to make many sacrifices for the good of public health. You have faced the challenge with faith and fortitude, and I am proud to bear witness to the strength you have demonstrated. Together as a family united in Christ, we will continue to navigate these difficult waters. We know that they will come and this too shall pass, for we are a people of hope. As you prepare to embark on the next phase of life's journey, take time to reflect on the following words from Pope Francis. In speaking to a gathering of young people, our Holy Father said, why do I like being with young people? Because you have the promise of hope in your heart. You are bearers of hope. It is true that you live in the present, but you are looking towards the future. You are architects of the future, artisans of the future. It is a beautiful thing to walk towards the future with dreams and with many beautiful things. And it is also your responsibility. Become artisans of the future. Have courage, go forward and make noise. Where there are young people, so there should be noise. Go ahead. So members of the class of 2020, in closing, I echo the sentiments of Pope Francis. Have courage, go forward, be bearers of hope, make noise, and make a better and brighter world. In the name of the people of the Archdiocese, I extend my prayerful congratulations and best wishes on your graduation. May God bless you and your loved ones abundantly, and may he protect and guide you always. Bridget Devlin is a member of Resurrection Parish and attended Resurrection Regional School. She has been very active at St. Hubert in both leadership and athletic roles. Bridget has been a member of the National Honor Society since junior year and was chosen as its president during her senior year at St. Hubert. She also represents St. Hubert as a Bambi ambassador. During her time at St. Hubert, Bridget played soccer freshman year and was part of the track team junior and senior years. Bridget was awarded honorable mention all Catholic for her participation in the high jump. Bridget was a member of the swim team for all four years at St. Hubert and became captain during her senior year. As a member of the swim team, Bridget made second team all Catholic. In the fall, Bridget will be attending Coastal Carolina University and will be majoring in business. She was awarded the Provost Scholarship and the University Scholar Award from Coastal Carolina University. Please welcome the salutatorian for the class of 2020, Bridget Devlin. Hello, Archbishop Perez, Bishop Fitzgerald, administration, faculty, staff, family, friends, and alumni, and fellow classmates. I'm honored to be the Class of 2020 Salutatorian. Even though the current circumstances are far from ideal, I believe it is important to practice gratitude no matter how good or how bad life gets. Instead of focusing on what has been taken from us, I would like to take the time to appreciate the most amazing things St. Hubert's has given us. First off, I would like to say thank you to the teachers, staff, and administration for guiding the Class of 2020 for the last four years. Thank you for taking the time to prepare us for our bright futures and for seeing the potential in us. I may not be so thankful for all the homework, but I know your hearts were in the right places. Next, I would like to thank my parents and all the parents, guardians, and families in the St. Hubert community for supporting us through the last four years. All the love you have shown and sacrifices you have made are greatly appreciated. I know I could not be here without my parents and family. Next, I would like to take the time to thank the class of 2020 for being the sisters I never thought I needed. After sharing a room with my sister for the entirety of my life, I thought one sister was plenty. I did not realize how amazing it would be to find even more sisters. I would also like to take the time to remember our sister, Brianna Costello, who I know we all wish could be here with us today. When I think about the senior class, I think about all the times I've seen these girls help each other and stand by each other through thick and thin. I believe it is the friends I've made at St. Hebert's that have made the last four years of my life amazing. Waking up every day for school is never easy, but knowing I was going to be with the girls made it worth it. I know that even though we are parting ways, I've made lifelong friends. Moving on to the more miscellaneous category, I'd like to thank St. Hebert's for the amazing cookies, for the invention of Susie Hebert Day, and for the uniform, which was quite comfy in my many after-school naps. 
Now, I cannot speak from personal experience, but I think all the girls who drive themselves to school can also thank St. Hubert's for making them really good at parallel parking. Some of my favorite things from the last four years was my amazing French class, all the friends and good times I got from the swim team, and my best friend, who is now my college roommate. I think it's time to take a trip down memory lane. I would like to relive some of the best feelings from our time at St. Hubert's. I can still remember the mix of nervousness but excitement I felt before walking through the front doors on the first day of freshman year. I think we all can agree that Susie Hubert Day is one of the best days of the year and we were all filled with pure happiness that day. I can remember seeing everyone smiling during our first adoration singing Holy Spirit. Little did we know how many more times we were going to do that. I already missed when we would sing the alma mater every chance we could. I can remember how excited yet stressed everyone was for junior prom and senior portraits. Nothing beats the feeling of being able to sleep in because of performance series or sending in that latest college application. I can remember how bittersweet it was to get our senior pins because we finally had to accept our last year at St. Hubert's. We might not have gotten to finish making memories at Hubert's, but we did get our fair share of fun over the years. I already miss seeing everyone in class joking about stuff I can't even remember now. I will hold these memories close to my heart for the rest of my life. I remember when I was a freshman, I thought senior, seniors seemed so much older than me, and that would be so long before I could ever fill their shoes. Now, as I give the speech, it seems unreal how quickly time is gone. It feels like just yesterday I was an awkward freshman who was always looking at my roster to make sure I was going to the right class. As a freshman, I was in a big rush to become an upperclassman so that I could do all the fun things I saw other girls getting to do. Now, when I look back, I want to tell my younger self to enjoy every second of my time at St. Hubert's. Philosopher Alan Watts explains that there's a danger in thinking life is a journey. Life is to be lived along the way in the same way that music is to be enjoyed. I wish I knew this as a freshman. I was always looking forward to the end of high school. Even this year, I'm guilty of counting the days till the end instead of living them each day fully. When I stopped looking for false destinations and started to listen to the music of everyday life, I began to appreciate the simpler things in life. When a fellow student would hold the door for me or pick up a pencil I dropped, I could see how these little acts are filled with love. I open my eyes to love that fills the halls at St. Hubert's, which makes me miss the school even more. The sense of sisterhood I felt in those halls and classrooms is indescribable. As our patch color changed each year, so did, the, so did we. These years are where we found ourselves and grown as people. I wish I was able to be looking at all the girls I grew up with. If you were lucky enough to be in my sixth period theology class, then you probably remember the day Miss Neary told us to say what our gifts were. By the end of class, we were all saying nice things about each other, and Miss Neary said the room was filled with all different gifts, and there was so much potential. I feel the same way when I think about the class of 2020. I can't wait to see all my sisters and what they do with their gifts after high school. I believe our senior class has the potential for greatness and will make this world a better place with all their talents. I hope my fellow seniors remember to enjoy every day like they are listening to their favorite song and to not worry about the destinations too much. And with that, I would like to say, if anyone in this class ever feels like they lack greatness or that no one believes in them, I want them to remember that I believe in them and they'll always have a sister in me. Aaron Fitzpatrick is from Resurrection of Our Lord Parish and attended Resurrection Regional before enrolling in St. Hubert as a Newman Scholar. At St. Hubert, Aaron was Vice President of the National Honor Society, a Student Council Representative, a member of the cheerleading program, the president of Athlete Help Helping Athletes, the president of Students Against Destructive Decisions, and the editor of the yearbook. She also participated in the art club, the community service corps, intramural sports, and the junior and senior prom committees throughout her time at St. Hubert. Erin was accepted into 12 universities and offered a total of $1.1 million in scholarships and grants. This fall, Erin will be attending Temple University as a health professions major in the Accelerated Physical Therapy Program. While at Temple, Erin will be a member of both the cheerleading team and athletes helping athletes. Please welcome the valedictorian for the class of 2020, Erin Fitzpatrick.
Good morning, Bishop Perez, Bishop Fitzgerald, St. Hubert Administration and Faculty, family and friends, and most importantly, my fellow graduates of the St. Hubert class of 2020. Traditionally, a valedictory address serves as a farewell to the graduating class. The valedictorian looks back on the classes passed together while also offering inspiration for moving forward to the future. I will admit to you, at first I had a lot of difficulty coming up with the right words to say in this situation. That surprised me because, and I'm sure my classmates can vouch for this, it felt like we had a paper due in English class nearly every other day. Eventually, it seemed like writing and expressing my thoughts had become a natural skill to me during my time at St. Hubert. But this was different. How could I reminisce on our past together when we were living in a world where we are forced to stay apart? How could I offer inspiring words for the future in such a time of uncertainty? Finally, when looking back on a past experience with my father, I came across all the words I needed to say. About two years ago, a few days before my driver's test, my dad and I were practicing. When I began to parallel park his car in a spot that a SEPTA bus could fit in, he kept anxiously correcting me. I became so frustrated that I simply stopped the car where it was, turned off the engine, and got out. Then my dad said to me, you can't do that in the real world. This is a phrase I think one, each and every one of us has heard from an adult at some point. Our parents and guardians, teachers, and other mentors usually spoke to us about the real world in the context of referring to future events. If we did not plan for our futures properly, the real world would be a scary place in which we had to worry about all the stress that came along with independence, including parallel parking. This got me thinking, if our future was the real world, what did that make the past and present? Certainly we had not gone through 18 years of life living in some obscure fake world, after 12 years of education and meticulously planning for our futures, we had expected everything to unfold in a certain way. Moving forward, each and every one of us had a very particular idea of what we wanted our lives in the real world to look like. However, the truth is this entire time we have been living in the real world. And today, I would like to offer you some insight into what I think this world is all about. When looking back on our time at St. Hubert, this was our real world for the last four years. One of our many school mantras is sisterhood cannot be defined, only experienced. I feel that we should recognize the unique moments in which the strength of sisterhood was most obvious to each of us. For some, this was when you saw the school decorated in green, blue, pink, and gold on Susie Hubert Day. For others, it was the feeling of competing with your teammates or performing in the musical. Maybe meeting with a club or participating in student council, Bambi ambassador, or NHS events was when you felt most connected to the students around you. Or perhaps sisterhood was the sense of solidarity you felt at a mass or prayer service in the auditorium. Honestly, your definition of sisterhood may have been secretly cheering with your classmates when an unexpected study hall was announced during homeroom. Whatever your favorite memory at St. Hubert may be, I promise you that the feeling of sisterhood that comes along with it is very real and it will stay with you forever. Undoubtedly, on Friday, March 13th, we came face to face with a real world problem when we unknowingly left St. Hubert as a class for the last time. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, every human being on this entire earth was forced to alter their personal lifestyle in the blink of an eye. Forgive me for this awful joke, but I for one can say even my 2020 vision didn't see that coming. However, there is a lesson to be learned in all of this. In the real world, we cannot predict the future. It is necessary to be willing to adapt to any curveball life might throw you. Life in the real world is less about what happens to you and more about how you react to it. We can choose to be upset and dwell on these less than ideal circumstances, or we can grow from them moving forward. Therefore, rather than allowing this experience to turn us into bitter people, we should channel our inner strength to become better and more determined people who will go forward with more loving and compassionate hearts. Although it may feel like our experience at St. Hubert was cut short, nothing will break the bond of sisterhood shared by the 132 Bambies in the class of 2020. Consequently, as we continue with our lives after St. Hubert, the many useful tools this sisterhood has given us will be evident as we navigate our lives in this new world. By growing together as women of faith and integrity, we learned how to be caring and compassionate individuals. I feel these qualities are more essential in today's world than ever before and they will guide us in our futures. I believe that it is important to recognize that we could not go back to school during the end of our senior year because we were called to make giant sacrifices that allowed us to save lives. 
We will never even meet most of these people whose safety we protected, but someday looking back, we can reflect on this as one of our finest moments as a global community. As we leave St. Hubert, our perspective will be vastly different than those who have gone before us. While being apart, we have strengthened our sisterhood by standing together to fight for the greater good. And for this, I believe we will be rewarded with success. We have learned to never take anything for granted and to appreciate any goodness in life as it comes before us. We have also learned to remain resilient and hopeful through times of adversity. As we set forth into our future, I know that our love for humanity will help us build a better real world, one where we can all exist in peace and harmony. While continuing on with our journeys, we will see the real world as a place with many, many needs that may not be met and our challenge will be to collectively try to make a better life for those who come behind us. This responsibility to one another may be greater than we ever imagined, but I am confident if anyone can, can, can fulfill what we are being called to do, it is the class of 2020. Though we could not physically be together to celebrate this momentous occasion, please know that we will always share a connection with one another. Success without each other is not success at all. Every member of the class of 2020 will forever take part in a distinctive bond as we shape a new future. And the Bambi sisterhood we experienced will allow us to bring a piece of St. Hubert with us during the rest of our lives. Thank you girls and congratulations. I cannot wait to see the amazing things each one of you does out in the real world. I love you all. We are very proud and happy to recognize the young women who have been awarded academic scholarships and grants to the numerous colleges and universities listed in the graduation program. The class of 2020 has received over $21 million in scholarships, awards, and grants. Congratulations on your academic achievements and may you continue on your road to success through education and hard work. The following awards are presented to students who demonstrated academic excellence in various subject areas. The award for outstanding achievement in the study of theology is merited by Caitlin Ann Grayling. Honorable mention, Emily Hamilton. The award for outstanding achievement in the area of English is merited by Bridget Kalen Devlin. Honorable mention, Erin Margaret Fitzpatrick. The award for outstanding achievement in the area of social studies is merited by Erin Margaret Fitzpatrick. Honorable mention, Olivia Rose Big Boy. The award for outstanding achievement in the area of mathematics is merited by Aaron Margaret Fitzpatrick. Honorable mention, Holland Marie Lowing. The award for outstanding achievement in the area of science is merited by Mackenzie Kennedy Pugh. Honorable mention, Lucy Vo. The award for outstanding achievement in the study of Spanish is merited by Amelia Hempel. Honorable mention, Daniela Piscini. The award for outstanding achievement in the study of French is merited by Aaron Margaret Fitzpatrick. Honorable mention, Bridget Kalen Devlin. The award for outstanding achievement in the area of art is merited by Olivia Rose Big Boy. Honorable mention, Kelly Mary Devlin. The award for outstanding accomplishment in instrumental music is merited by Emily Hamilton. Honorable mention, Mackenzie Kennedy Pugh. 
The award for outstanding work in clothing and textile is merited by Samantha Ruck. Our president, Mrs. Lizanne Pando, will now address the graduates. Thank you, Mrs. Doherty. Ladies, my first class, you have such a special place in my heart. Graduation is always the saddest day of my year. And I will miss you and your smiles every day moving forward. From the fields and the courts, the runways and the art shows, the bus rides, the concerts, the adoration, the retreats, the assemblies like Voices of Light, the plays and so much more. That is how long it took for you to steal my heart. To say I am proud of you is truly not enough, nor will it ever be. As you journey forward, remember there is a lot of noise out there and a lot of opinions, but you know how to handle that. Just ask yourselves, what would I do if I was not afraid? Close your eyes and pray. Hum the Holy Spirit song, reckless love, or whatever stills your heart in the Lord's love. And then choose love. Each decision we make can be in fear or love. And when you slow down and pray, it's easier to see and choose the loving answer. I can sum up our time together in a song called For Good. I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn and we are led to those who help us most grow if we let them. And we help them in return. Well, I don't know if I believe that's true, but I know I am who I am today because I knew you. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes the sun, like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the woods. Who can say if I've ever been changed for the better? But because I knew you, I've been changed for good. It may well be that we will never meet again in this lifetime so let me say before we part. So much of me is made of what I've learned from you. You will be like a handprint on my heart. Retire my Bambies, my new alumni. Be the women of integrity and faith that we know you are. Reach higher and leave your handprint on the hearts of the world. Reach higher and make us, but more importantly yourselves, proud. Stay in touch. You will always be in our prayers. God bless. The following students are being recognized for their excellence in academic performance, participation in, and dedication to school activities, and their ongoing involvement in the St. Hubert community. They are truly women of faith and integrity, and exemplify Christian values. They were nominated and chosen by a committee of faculty, staff, and administrators of St. Hubert Catholic High School for Girls. The Chapel of the Four Chaplains Junior League of Honor Award for volunteerism and sacrifice to bring ethnic and faith harmony is presented to Delia Perez. The State Representative Thomas Mert Award for her demonstration of civic pride is presented to Shauna Lynn Mathers. The Knights of Columbus Holmesburg Council Award for her understanding and knowledge of her faith is presented to Katie Ann McGovern. The Daughters of the American Revolution Award for Honor, Service, Courage, Leadership, and Civic Pride is presented to 
Sarah Nancy Lyshevsky. The Sister Immaculata Mary Scholarship given to a senior who shows great talent, promise, and inner drive to succeed is presented to Brianna Ashley Hoey. The Elizabeth Madden Zibman Memorial Scholarship for Artistic Talent, Demonstration, and Drive is presented to Olivia Rose Big Boy and Kelly Mary Devlin. The Julia Michael Award for Dedication, Dependability, and Service to the St. Hubert Community is presented to Victoria Rose Zyper. The Charles F. Doherty Award for Spirit, Service, and Leadership is presented to Samantha Rose Ruck. The St. Hubert Parents Association Award for Leadership and Compassion for the St. Hubert Community is presented to Victoria Noel Wollstenholme. The St. Hubert Faculty Award for the graduate who best exemplifies the spirit of St. Hubert is presented to Amelia Rose Hemphill. The Alumni Award for Dependability and Versatility in School Involvement is presented to Mackenzie Kennedy Pugh. The St. Hubert Administration Award for Effort, Perseverance, and All-Around Improvement is presented to Alyssa Marie Hennis. The Senator Pat Toomey Award for Good Citizenship is presented to Brooke Elizabeth Melvin. For time, service, and dedication to the school, the State Representative Mike Driscoll and Martha White Award is presented to Emily Hamilton. The Claire Finley Unsung Hero Award for Good Sportsmanship and Promotion of Athletics at St. Hubert is presented to Elizabeth McNamee. The, the Ginny Clark Quinlan Class of 42 and the Gert King Class of 44 Award for Loyalty and Dedication to Athletics is presented to Sarah Lyshevsky. The Mary Ann Weed Award for Dedication, Dependability, and Academic Accomplishments is presented to Mackenzie Pugh. The St. Hubert's High School Scholar Athlete Award is presented to the athlete with the highest GPA, Erin Fitzpatrick. At this time, we will award diplomas to the members of the class of 2020, the 79th graduating class at St. Hubert. Mrs. Clifford and Mrs. McGovern are asked to come forward to the podiums at this time. Students, please stand. We ask that you remain standing until your name is called. Francesca Marie Aceta. Brianna Alana Alexander. Emily Mary Armbruster. Alyssa Mackenzie Bache. Ruby Nicole Banford. Haley Marie Bauer. Gabrielle Victoria Burmese. Olivia Rose Big Boy. Taylor Nicole Blazejewski. Madison Lee Bulldock. Jessica Dawn Bormanite.
Kaylin Siobhan Bray. Veronica Narissa Brinkworth. Gabrielle Bram. Olivia Rose Budney. Haley Maureen Bytoff. Isabella Lillian Carpino. Caitlin Noel Castle. Cameron Jessica Clark. Caitlin Rose Call. Haley Irene Cronin. Amber Lynn. Dalton, Gianna Nicole Denofa, Sophia Amber DeSantis, Jordan Marie Devine. Bridget Kaylin Devlin, Kelly Mary Devlin. Gina Lynn Deneza, Grace Ann Dolan, Madison Marie Dombrowski, Dislady Dominguez Gonzalez, Brenna Lynn Edis, Jenna Nicole Elliott, Marissa Lynn Ellis, Danielle Teresa Finicaro, Erin Margaret Fitzpatrick, Angela Marie Fermento, Nicole Marie Gallagher, Jacqueline Gerstel, Victoria Marie Gerstel, Madeline Ann Gibson, Leah E. Gill, Kylie Ann Glansman, Caitlin Anna Grayling, Alyssa Catherine Greenwald, Haley Nicole Ginter, Liliana Gully, Emily Hamilton, Madison R. Hamill, Z. Wen Han, Bridie M. Heim. Kayla Marie Kono. Amelia Rose Hemphill. Alyssa Marie Hennis. Helen Wong. Brianna Ashley Hoey. Caitlin Marie Hoffner. Jane A. Hoger, Caitlin Marie Halk, Victoria Marie Huckey, Caitlin Marie Kitchenman, Alexandra Lee Kowalski, Nicole Ann Lemerice, Haley Marie Lemley, Sarah Nancy Leshevsky, Holland Marie Lowing, Cheyenne Marie Loby, Ignibeth 
Hermosa Lopez, Michaeli Bridget Ludi, Molly Jean Madden, Marie Sophia Cassandra G. Magat, Samantha Jessica Marshall, Shauna Lynn Mather, Hannah Catherine McBride, Claudia Rose McCabe, Maureen McCauley, Becca Ann McHugh, Ailish Mary McDermott, Hannah Rose McGoldrick, Katie Ann McGovern, Rihanna McGowan, Sunny Sky McGrath, Elizabeth McNamee, Brooke Elizabeth Melvin, Savannah Taylor Myers, Christine Mora, Ramika Luigi Morant, Margalise Moda Valdez, Brianna Destiny Myers, Taylor Marie Overholzer, Kerry Jolina Penasevic, Hannah Jane Paxson, Natalie Peralta, Delia Perez, Daniela Sophia Pizzicini, Mackenzie Kennedy Pugh, Tessa Regina Ravel, Jayla D. Robinson, Georgelina Rodriguez, Samantha Rose Ruck, Cassidy May Ruck, Shaylin Sanders, Jacqueline Grace Sauer, Samantha Nicole Schaefling. Megan Elizabeth Smink, Carly Rose Sosa, Jessica L. Sperber, Ava Marie Springfield, Mary Kate Stein, Victoria Rose Cipher, Alina Elizabeth Thornton, Marissa J. Ty, Abigail I. Torres, Kayla Rose Troy, Isabel A. Vargas, Marissa Marie Vargas, Jalyn Alice Velez, Lucy Vo, Anna J. Von Hoffen, Randy Nicole Whalen, Madison Rose White, Kira Renee Weibel, Stephanie Williams, Taylor Jewel Wilson, Kelly Lynn Grace Wisman, 
Victoria Noel Wolstenholm, Mackenzie Ray Wood, Mackenzie Jordan Wynn, Jamilatu Yasena, Jamie Ann Jaworski, Ashley M. Zool. Our principal, Mr. Jerry Laskowski, will now address our graduates. Good morning, class of 2020, faculty, staff, family, and friends. Four years ago, back in 2016, you as a freshman class received rosters. These rosters became pathways for you to follow your learning. But more than that, the roster that was given to you opened up possibilities of friendship and love and will lead you throughout your four years. Your teachers also received a roster and a class list. This roster they used to guide you, to help you learn and lead you down the pathway, giving you the tools to question critically the world that you will enter. One of my teachers told me when I received my roster many years ago that the education that you receive will help you change your thoughts and in turn will help you change the world. Walking through the hallways at St. Hubert's each day, I had the ability to observe classes and one day I walked into an English literature class taught by Mr. D. You know him as Mr. D'Ambrosio. The class was discussing a novel. The novel is The Slaughterhouse-Five and the author is Kurt Vonnegut. The interest of the class changed throughout the period of time that I was in there as the protagonist would end each discourse with So It Goes. And so it goes throughout the 80 year history of St. Hubert High School, where the Bambies of the senior classes would face unprecedented challenges in their senior years. Throughout the 80 years, there were five major crises that seniors at St. Hubert's and in the nation had to deal with. In the 40s, we had World War II, and the students, especially the seniors, faced cancellations of classes, sometimes graduations. There were many restrictions and even food rationing for them. A few years later, in the 50s, the Korean War broke out. The students each day had to face constant threats of nuclear war. They had to complete nuclear drills in their classrooms and they faced many changes. Later, in the mid-60s and to the late 70s, the Vietnam War occurred. There was much protest, dissent, the civil rights movement occurred, and the women's rights occurred. In addition, as students would graduate, they would face the possibility of being drafted and being sent to war. It was during this time that the class of 1970 attended St. Hubert's. We have a tradition here at graduation to honor each class that celebrates their 50th reunion. They are known as the Golden Girls. This year, a member of the Golden Girls is the director of our alum, alumni, it's Mrs. Charlene Ritchie. She will partake in exchange of the flags with the student council during the ceremony. But know that you stand on the, on the shoulders of the class of 1970 Many of the trials and tribulations that they encountered, you have now encountered 50 years later. But it didn't stop with Vietnam. Probably by the time you were born, maybe some of you weren't born, you were maybe been about one year old, 9-11 occurred. Schools closed, students were sent home. I believe that there's one more crisis to, to face, and that's a war right now that we face the class of 2020 has faced is the coronavirus, the coronavirus national pandemic. With the economy falling in our nation and school closing, our society has faced many challenges. And so it goes. Going back for a minute to the first challenge that Bambi's faced in World War II, when those men and women returned from the war, they developed a strong work ethic, a sense of patriotism, and a strong spirituality. 
You know, I believe when the history of your generation is written many years from now, you will be called the next greatest generation for how you carried yourself during this time, how you learned at school, and how you helped others. In closing, I would like to mention a famous author in America. He was a minister and a great public speaker from the 1940s to the late 1970s. His name was Dr. Norman Vincent Peale. One of his famous books, a copy of which I received at my graduation, was called The, Posit the Power of Positive Thinking. In his talk to high schools based on this book, he urged many things, and so do I. Believe in yourself. Be humble. Do not despair. Be reasonable. Be confident of mind and soul. Develop strong habits. Be respectful. Have a sound mind and a sound heart. Be prayerful and be grateful. Do these things, and even in the face of adversity and a national crisis. And I can, can say to you that you will live a life of happiness and goodness. And so it goes. I wish you the best of life and the best of luck. May God bless you. Will the class of 2020 please stand? The student council officers of the class of 2020 will represent the entire class in receiving congratulations from Bishop Fitzgerald. The administration, faculty, and staff of St. Hubert Catholic High School for Girls. And now, as graduates of St. Hubert Catholic High School for Girls, we ask that you move your tassel from right to left. By virtue of the authority delegated to us by the School Board of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia and by the Pennsylvania Department of Education, we hereby pronounce you graduates of St. Hubert Catholic High School for Girls. Congratulations. We are so pleased that a representative from the class of 1970 and a member of our school staff Mrs. Charlene Ritchie could join us today as part of the Golden Girls class. The graduates of 1970 have contributed so much to our world as they've lived the lessons they learned 50 years ago at St. Hubert Catholic High School for Girls. They continue to support their alma mater in so many ways and is evident by their enthusiastic and continued support of the school. Ladies, thank you for five decades of proud and eager loyalty. And now, Victoria Wollstenholme, Student Council President, will receive the flag from Mrs. Charlene Ritchie as a graduate of the class of 1970 and will place it in the stand. This signifies that the young women of the class of 2020 are now members of the St. Hubert Alumni Association. So now I will ask all of our Hubert's graduates to stand and join us in the singing of the school song. <laughs> 